what is going on everybody tunji again from scissor graphics today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make torn paper effect so i already have my artwork open here in photoshop so i'm just going to create a copy of the layer by dragging and dropping on the new layer icon and i'm going to hide this layer and then i'm going to bring out my guide i'm going to drag that and drop here then i'm going to select the lasso tool just gonna draw a part. So. so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit Ctrl Shift and J on my keyboard to cut out the part that I draw the marquee on the layer. All right, so this is what I have now: it's the cutout part, and this is the original layer. I'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the cut out part to create a marquee of the shape and I'm going to create a new layer like part to change my foreground color to white hit or backspace to do that then I'll create a new layer again and I'm going to fill this with red. So hold Ctrl backspace because my background color is red. So now I'm going to hit Ctrl D on my keyboard to deselect and I'm going to push this up a bit just like so and I'll bring out the free transform. Right click and select flip horizontal and I'm going to just use the up and down arrow key on my keyboard to push this up a bit. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to create a, to create a marquee of the red layer by holding down control and click on the thumbnail of the red layer and I'm going to hide it and then select the white part arm layer and I'm going to hit backspace on my keyboard to delete the marquee part on the white layer and I'm going to hold down shift and select the cutout part and I'll push that up. A bit just like so then I'm gonna make a copy of the white part and I'm going to position this here just like so and I'll bring out the free transform right click and I'll flip this horizontal and this should go just so with the enter key so what I'm gonna do now is create a new layer again and I'm gonna fill the layer with the color of my foreground by holding up the backspace so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, you know let me just push this down a bit because I can, because I can see the some part of the cutout part on the layer. Well, this is good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to move this to be above this, and I'm going to shift. I'm going to shift select the two layers here, and I'll push this up, and I'll bring out the free transform and rotate this just a bit. And I'll do the same thing for the other layer, which is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the four layers and how he bring out the free transform. And I'm just going to scale this big so as to cover those white parts around the artwork. So I'm just going to drag that. So and then I'm going to hold down control and click on the um, white part of the cut out part. And I'm going to do the same thing by holding down control and shift to add another marquee to uh, my selection and I'm going to create a new layer and I'll call this shadow then I'll fill this with a backspace and I'll hit the control E on my keyboard to click on the marquee and go to filter so and I'll select Gaussian blow alright so I'm just going to push this up like so alright then I'm going to click on the OK button all right, so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace.